Welcome back. You're watching African Perspective here on SABC News Channel 404. We're talking about the issue of Lesotho's sovereignty. Let's take a look at some of the social media views that are being shared with us. So uh, this one is from Free Basotho Movement, which says, we will never find solutions in Lesotho for as long as we don't see that Lesotho is a problem unto itself. Leave SA out of Basotho problems. Lesotho doesn't care for its people, period. Those in that country and out of it, stop blaming other people for issues in your household. This one is from Ramule Dane Lekhanya saying it is sad that Africans with struggle credentials have decided to retain borders, a remnant of colonization with inherent segregation and brutality, a stain on their legacy. While Tamaiso Zhu says uh, Lesotho sovereignty is the Basotho people. History has proven that the invaded native people will never have an equal share to the invaders. They will loot everything it will never benefit Basoto. Other system systemically corrupt our leadership to start and lead to such conversations. And finally, the table souping says. Uh Political leadership kills this mountain kingdom. Merging with SA will be the best thing ever. So divided opinions there. I'll come back to the crux of the matter, uh, gentlemen. We are in conversation with Sipo Mandula and Bradley Shabalala from the organization Basoto Right to Belong. Let me start again with you, Mr. Mandula. Mm. Is Lesotho a viable state at this case in time? One cannot say. It has been in the ICU for some time, politically, e economically. Um, and, and that's where one looks at in being a viable state that I think many parliamentarians in this country has been raising that possible major uh, incorporation. But I think what is key, it is the issue of leadership. When you look at those social media texts, it is around the deficit of leadership. Mm -hmm. It is around corruption in that country. And, and I think before one can look at the trade relations. For me, it will be the issue that SADC must look at the trade relations. What is it that can work for the SADC relation? Okay, we'll talk about trade relations in just a moment. Mr. Shabalala, there are those who are saying uh, perhaps we should look at integration mm -hmm. with independence for Lesotho, mm -hmm. Swaziland, Namibia, Botswana, any of those who may mm -hmm. uh, form part of this collapsing of borders. What is your point of view? Yeah, I think what is important here is for us, first and foremost, to look at how Lesotho was created. Mm -hmm. Lesotho was created for what purpose in the first place? Yes. It was created by the man called Woodhouse in 1869, by what we call the Alwa North you know, Treaty or Alwa North mm -hmm. Convention. The really main purpose behind it, it was actually to make it a labor reserve after discovering diamond in uh, Kimberley in 1867. We have got facts, you know, towards that that will support that. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it was created, the, the second reason, it was as a, to make it, you know, I mean, as a, a, a policy of encirclement to mm -hmm. stop the, the boers to go, to penetrate through the, the harbor. You know, to, that was it's for that purpose. So Lesotho itself, if you look at it, it's 89, over 89 percent mountains. It was never made as a country. It was deliberately made. So as a made. consequence, what are you saying? What that I'm saying we that can't that talk about independence. We can't. Talk, I, I, I really need us to needle down and get straight down to yes. that. Yes, th th that's very true. So now, if we look at that, at the background of that, you will realize that by right, Lesotho shouldn't have been there. Do you see what I'm saying? That's number one. But so too are part of this. And also if we are to visit the international instrument, mm -hmm. being, you know, I mean, uh, the, um, uh, the very same YouTube that I'm talking about mm -hmm. in, um, uh, I think it's Article 20, 26. Mm -hmm. But so to have a right of citizenship in, on the land, on their ancestral land. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even Basutu who are in here have a right, you know, to, to the suit, to, to citizen, in the citizen. Okay. So now the question of a measure, it cannot only be Basotho in Lesotho. It also has to include Basotho in here. Okay. So how does that conversation then occur within the mediation efforts of South Africa? And I think that's why we're having that challenge, the issue of uh, constitutional reforms, the issue around uh, political leadership, the issue around e economy. But sovereignty has not been part of the terms of reference. I think the issue has been around constitutional reforms, the issue even of uh, coalition politics in that country. Every time they go for the elections and within three or four years, it collapses. So I think one of the mediation efforts is to start within 
the Basotho Kingdom. We'll talk about the collapse of uh, the government since 2014 and the mm. reasons behind it. Let's look at some more um, tweets that are coming through. Of course, we're asking the question, what are your thoughts? Uh, this one is from Radzeva Lekwaza, who says, as you know, um, less about what is really happening. AU knows less about what is happening in Lesotho. SADC under SA leadership is not working in the best interest of Lesotho. Both the government and the opposition lack political work. A big no to integrating Lesotho with SA. SA should bring back our stolen land. Diane Reguigra says, I'm for incorporation, then rename Free State to Lesotho, and Lesotho becomes 6th District, Moshashua District of Free State. King Lizie gets same perks as Zulu King. Lesotho has the potential to be the biggest tourism district if part of South Africa build a national route from Bloemfontein to Durban. And Retabila Masilo says, I prefer merge to integrate. But that action, yes, Lesotho's resources are not being exploited correctly, but are instead being exploited incorrectly. So, yes, let's merge. We have failed ourselves and our children. Is that the case, uh, Mr. Shabalala? Uh, looking at the daily cro uh, border crossings, people mm -hmm. are here for education, people are here for health. Has the government of Lesotho failed the people of Lesotho? No, in fact... We can't actually say that the people of Lesotho, I mean, uh, the government of Lesotho alone has failed the people of, you know, of, of Lesotho. The, the problem, I think, with us is for us, you know, I mean, to confuse the transference of power with sovereignty. Mm -hmm. You can transfer power without giving sovereignty. Mm -hmm. This would mean, like, for instance, the colonial power can be transferred, mm -hmm. you know, to the black people without necessarily giving those people, I mean, uh, what has to be done? What had to be done for a country to be sovereign according okay. to the international law is that you know, I mean, uh, the occupying power has to surrender. And <coughs> the indigenous I'm themselves... I'm going to have to move on to Mr. Mandula yes, for yes. final comments. Is but a unifying of monetary policy perhaps a better step to take? Correctly, it is. But remember, Africa without borders, it has been the AU uh, issue, the Africa One passport. But the issue of uh, integration, I think it, sh it should be on the basis of reparation, it should be on the basis of redress but as well as reconciliation i think what is key is the social cohesion amongst the borderlands what we can say as we are a landlocked country we need to deal with those challenges because even international soli solidarity is key but africa without okay. borders i think that's one one will want to push thank you very much to you both unfortunately we have run out of time advocate sipoman dula and bradley shabalala who is chair of the organization basoto right to belong you continue the conversation at African Perspec 1.